recording? Absolutely. Cool. So, anyway, I think I'm going to have to miss, like, some weeks in the middle of VBLN because <laughs> at dinner, I was eating some nice, crispy red bell peppers. Mm -hmm. Well, I accidentally swallowed a seed. So, I'm going to have to get surgery soon to get the pepper out so it doesn't grow and rupture my organs. Ah. The classic watermelon seed in the stomach dilemma. Except it's a pepper. <laughs> that, that might be worse. Actually, no, that's definitely better. <laughs> yeah. It's smaller and it's not a spicy one. When I was a kid, I uh, I was really... F I, there was like an episode of Rugrats that I saw when I was a kid, and that's, it put that idea in my head, and it scared the shit out of me. So, nice. so until I got that surgery, man, I was... Uh, I have not, but I know what it. I know what it is, but I've not seen it. I remember watching that when I was a young little whippersnapper. I thought that was a pretty, pretty funny TV show. Not yeah, funny, but I'm kind of a poser. I, I didn't watch it very much. That was like a, one of my wife's shows that she watched. I uh, I was all about SpongeBob. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. Can't go wrong with SpongeBob. I didn't start watching SpongeBob until like. I, I saw like a little bit in middle school, and that was it. What year would that have been? <laughs> um, uh, I mean, I I, the, I watched season three. I didn't watch any of years ago. SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah, it was like three years ago, four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dude, didn't they make SpongeBob like gay or something like that? Maybe. Yeah, I think Nickelodeon did. Is that real? Yeah, the, the, the people were outraged about it because the creator confirmed he was asexual. Well, oh, that makes that sense. He's a sponge. Yeah, oh, wait, never Nickelodeon mind. Made Nickelodeon still so. Pride Month by announcing that SpongeBob SquarePants is gay. What year is that? I don't know. I, think, I thought it was like last year. Yep, one year ago. What the hell? Man. Yeah. I didn't even... I I'm, I'm late on it. <clears throat> All right. Do we want to just go Should alphabetically? We... That sounds good to me. All right, I've got the. Uh, Are you guys on the um, thing Sticky made? What's the thing Sticky yeah. made? Oh, here I'll send a link. Sticky made a tier list. There you go. Oh. So it already. So we already can. Did, uh, it already has all the logos. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I'm glad he's back. He's already, already showing why it's good to have him. And he's like one of yeah. my only supporters. <laughs> so. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see here. I've got the ball hawk dock up just to make sure I can see everything on one page. Uh, I'm just using the Draftly gun now. Yeah. There's like some stuff that Draftly doesn't have. Let's see. Yeah. All right. We have. Wait, who's who's recording this? Poppin. I hope so, I am. Poppin. Yep, I am. <laughs> All right. Nope. So, Are you guys also showing your wonderful faces or just me? Um, just you. Just you. I don't. You know, I don't even have you on just the call. Me? The screen, Casey. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Sick. It's all good. Yeah. I mean, I know uh, you got uh, dressed up and did your yeah, hair real nice, but uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is my uh, COVID cut, you know. It's, uh, <laughs> good times. How you feeling so Ready far? To get rid of that. I mean, like, I feel pretty good, you know. Like, uh, I had a pretty bad fever last night, but I woke mm. up and it was gone, so that was good. That's good. That's how uh, I felt when I got the vaccine. Cool. I had like one night where I woke up in the middle of the night just just shivering like the coldest I've ever been in my life and then I was fine 12 hours later so hopefully it's like that for you Two of the, some of the other guys that I know who yeah, are yeah. younger who got it they they just had like a couple bad days and were fine afterwards so I'm just looking yeah. at this real quick uh, Cobra has uh, Prankster Tail and Whimsicott with 185 attack plus 100 mega with a 125 multi-hit move because of, uh, power because of skill link yeah that's pretty scary yeah, I, I I would like to suggest this for uh for next season. Like um, I think that instead of like you know making like the best ones just be like worth um like zero points, like you should make like the best ones be worth like Cost minus points. fifty points. points, and the worst yeah. ones being being like plus fifty points. Yeah, like, plus hundred's kind of a lot. I yeah. wanted this first season to be high power level, and <laughs> it's definitely it's that a very high power level. <laughs> it definitely is. Yeah. Yeah, so, so we'll, we'll reassess after. at the end and see if it, anyway, if, it's, well, if it so needs adjustment. We've got whims. Everybody like, knows what whims would, does. Would you, would you mind uh, sharing your screen, Poppin? Um, yeah. Uh, let me... Oh, God. I've never... Oh, there it is. Share screen. Look at the type chart. It doesn't have any bad weaknesses. Like, he has a few minus ones, but... 
I mean, Ghost is decently bad, but he has Mighty Ena and also with, like very. I don't hard know to if Mighty Ena is gonna scare away a Ghost type though, honestly. Yeah, but but it's like really hard to get a bunch of Ghost resistances. Cause yeah, there's only two types. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Let's see. His type chart looks good. Does he have anything that he learns has... speed up? He has two justified users. It's not. Oh uh, yeah, Whimsicott yeah, does. Mighty Ena. Whimsicott gets it. And Mighty Ena, I think, gets it probably. His dark type, yeah, but yeah, Whimsicott. Mighty Ena though. Mighty is bad. So no, but it has intimidate. It has intimidate, but he already has intimidate. So. Exactly. I feel like yeah, Mighty Ena was just a pickup to fill out the type chart. Pick. Yeah. But yeah. Let's look at this. So, so looking at the type chart. If I was to kind of plan against... The, wait, which division is this guy in? Uh, uh, ours. Oh, he's in ours. Fuck. Yeah, he's I, I'm going against him. I'm going against him <laughs> this first week. Man, I don't... Ooh. You guys tell me that we have to play the guy with the Mega Heracross and the fucking Whimsicott. So, if, I, if I'm looking to bu fight, uh, build a team against this team, which I will eventually, I'm looking at it, and I see a scary Trick Room mode, Bronzong, Rhyperior, um, even Heracross could work in Trick Room. Uh, possibly, mm -hmm. and then outside of Trick Room, you have Whimsicott plus uh, Heracross Mega plus Dracovish plus Tarak. God damn, this is a scary team. Yeah, even Pikachu's little... pretty good here. One thing I will say is that it is um, it is pretty physical. Like, yeah, I was mm -hmm. Dracovish, Terrakian, Mega Heracross, Rhyperior. Do they have anything to? Uh... Discourage, intimidate, any kind of like competitive. Uh, he, yeah, he has our Galarian Articuno. Oh, with there it is, staring scary. me right there in the face. Yeah. So yeah. that'll do it. I think this is quite a good team. Mm -hmm. Personally, also like Toxtricity, I was considering picking it up in No Max because even though it's slow, it has 114 special attack with yeah, I was, Punk I was, Rock. I was looking at that too. Overdrive. Mm -hmm. It can also go physical if you want All with that. the shift gear. Ooh. Yeah. That's hype. That, that That's is pretty hype. I don't know how good it is compared to Although, all the other physical attackers he has to choose from. One one thing that's interesting is he has two lightning rod users, but only one electric weakness. Where's the other? Oh, Rhyperior. I feel like Rhyperior is going to run solid rock most of the time. Yeah, but it'll definitely. Like, yeah. Is. Although the Gastron makes sense because of Arcanine and Drakian and Rhyperior. Mm hmm. I feel like Pikachu could be swapped out for something else in C tier, but honestly, Pikachu but I, could do a lot of damage by itself. And it has Follow Me. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it, right. It that's right. That's a whole new yeah. mon then. That's not. <laughs> follow Me, Fake Out, Baby it's a, Raichu. That's a brand new Pikachu. It's also, it's a mon too. That's a big thing. Mm -hmm. And looking at the average base stats of the average 102 attack, is pretty strong. Um, pretty good bulk too. Yeah. I think that this is an A tier. I would agree. In my opinion. We'll start off there. Let's I don't see. quite it has I don't think it has quite the zing factor to go to S. But and we don't know how the other teams will compare to it. Mm -hmm. But I think it goes to A to start. Yeah. Oh I'll, I'll so agree with start that. There, we can come back once you finish. Yeah. Um All right, so what do we hmm. got next? Oh, yeah, also Bronzong Rapierior can still do weakness policy shenanigans. Yeah, Bronzong's weak enough to do that and not cripple Rapierior. Yeah. He's got a lot of, uh... A lot of offense. Yeah. Some good priority stuff. Every I mean, everything gets helping hand in this format, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, my goodness. All right. Um, who is next? It's me. Oh, it's Casey. Next. That's you, Casey. Yay! Um, All right. Yeah, so we've Casey's got, team is scary. We've got Noivern, Raichu, Cinderace. Oh, Mega, Mega Gyarados was a good pickup. I was jealous of that. Yeah. Thank you. Breloom. That was good. Solid choice. Good for Spore. Does Breloom get Rage Powder? Oh, it doesn't. Uh, no, but it uh, gets be... Spore. Yeah, Spore's awesome. It gets Spore, awesome. and it has a huge attack stat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Breloom's a bad favorite yeah. of mine. I've always loved it's, Breloom. Attack stat's actually higher wow. than Gyarados. Dude, you, you, you have so much high attack stat, too. You have 155 on Mega Gyarados. What's your average? 104. Damn. 100 in camera. 110 Dublade. 110 Swampert. 130 Breloom, 120 Grimstar, 116 Cinderace. Like, Noivern, uh, Musharna, Greedent, and Raichu are your only ones under 100, but Raichu can easily do physical. Greedent has Belly Drum. Uh, Camera doesn't really run physical, but it can. That'd be a good mix up. Earthquake fun. 
That's yeah. True. Um, Wait, camera up? Like the angle Wait. point stuff with the camera up? Do you have anything yeah, to, to get an auto crit? Me. Doesn't I look don't, like it. No, I do not. Frost breath anything? And I've only got uh, one, one net weakness. Yeah, so that's and that's... Nice. It's ground, and although you do have four weaknesses, it's um not bad. I still got because... like one, two, mm -hmm. like, yeah, two, yeah, and I don't three flying type. So yeah, and I don't think. Wait, where's ground? Um, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't count. Make Gyarados resist, so you can just not die or not. What do you call fucking Mega Evolve that if you need to? And it's also got yeah. the uh, intimidate because mm -hmm. I mean, not many ground types are going to be hitting you from the special side. Yeah. yeah, your team also not. looks a little bit physical heavy. Uh, so we'll see. Yeah, I noticed that after though. I finished drafting. <laughs> My team's the same way. Yeah, I think for, for, for um, like special side, I've only really got like Noivern and Celestila and like yeah. Cinder. Mu Mush and, yeah. I think Musharna has is your Musharna. Musharna is tied for your highest special attack stat. Oh jeez. <laughs> With Celestila oh, and the camera up. Yeah. Probably should have uh, picked up a competitive yeah, that's one thing. user, but you know. But, but you have follow me trick room. Um, mm -hmm. or fake out trick room. You have tailwind. You have variety and cinderace. Let's see what can be mixed. Grim snarl. You have good support options. This looks like a pretty good team. You've also got a lot of taunters that are relatively fast. If uh, if they're gonna go the reflect route yeah. against your physical team. Mm hmm. Hey, I've also just got the prankster taunt too. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I will say, I'm not quite sure about, is the offensive support. Like, I just don't see much. It looks like they'll most often be using their base stats. In terms of like damage boosting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like like fake tears, screech up. Like you do have prankster fake tears on Crimsnarl, but your team is mostly physical. Um, you have Belly Drum and Greedent, mm -hmm. which could be good, but like Dragon not, Dance nothing on too a much. Gyarados. True. Forgot about that. Yeah, I think your team is also A tier. I think it's got a couple issues, but I think it's okay. It's, it's it could definitely uh, improve. Yeah, I think it's also A tier, though I can't quite determine if it's above the Bidus or not. I think it is. Poppin, what do you think? Uh, I don't know. It's a tough call. I think I think we should put it both in A for now, and then yeah. uh, go ahead and reorder it from yeah. once we have a better idea. All right, who we got now next? Now we have Cheryl James. And, uh, wait, do we? we James and the Cincy Mincy's. Oh yeah, I was looking just within our division. Alrighty, <laughs> Cincinnati Minchinos. Ah, Smeargle. Yep. <clears throat> oh, and Genesect. Yeah. I want a Genesect. Yeah, he has uh, T-Charge or Akazolt. Oh, he got the Hoopa. It's a fun choice. I don't Mimic think Hoopa's you. very good. 150 special attack. Yeah, with no physical attack. defense. It's, it's, it's better than Nihilego. I, I don't think Nihilego's... Well, no, I don't think it's better than Nihilego. Better, actually. No. Well, it's it, it's kind of Nihilego. It's similar. Similar, okay. Yeah. Well, Mimikyu is a good trick room setter. I was looking at that. Yeah, and Mega Camerupt is just but, a beast in trick yeah. room. That's, Although he I, doesn't I, really... I wanna... His only other trick room mod, mod is really Tyranitar. Mm -hmm. Maybe and that's Tangela, iffy. I guess. But yeah. Oh, we got Tangela. That's good. I like Tangela. Yeah. Tangela's good. And I think he can pair... Uh, even though he doesn't have too many options in trick room, he always has Chinchino to make those trick room guys go yeah. fast if he needs. I mean, True. Chin -chin, like a fast Chinchino plus a Mega Camerupt, uh, what do you call it, Eruption? Yeah. That can... Wait, what's, it, what, what's stronger, Sheer Force Heat Wave or just Eruption? I'm pretty sure Eruption. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's 95. If it could have a Life Orb, that'd be different, but... Yeah, it's a... Uh, sheer Force Heat Wave would be like 124 mm -hmm. base power, but it's still a really strong option. Absolutely. So you don't even need Eruption sometimes. Mm-hmm. Would be smart to run both, probably. Yeah. If you don't need an extra Looking move. at the type chart, he only has two ice it's resistances. Only got two net weaknesses. Pretty good. Yeah, but only two resistances to ice. Rotom Wash. So. Wash and Genesect are pretty good answers to it's ice, though, terrible. honestly. I mean, what is an ice type yeah. going to do when it faces down a Genesect? 
I think Genesect it's alone is a really important piece of this. Because, I mean, yeah. he has the ice and ground weaknesses, which doesn't really help out ground too much. Unless he wants to do the, <laughs> that one item that Genesect gets that gives it that water attack. And then against Gravel. the, against the fighting and fairy, Genesect, again, does a lot against fairy. It, and, I mean... I don't know. I wanted to pick Genesect, so I'm all I'm, I'm all yeah. high on Genesect. So super fast, boosts either of its really high attack stats, and is bulky enough to take one really big hit. Titar is cool. It's really bulky. Mm -hmm. Although it does have a lot of weaknesses. Um, I like Rotom. I don't really know. I feel like Rotom might actually be better in a max format because Will O Wisp cripples maxes more, your impulse, all that stuff. But mm, I don't know. I, I don't know enough about the difference between a max and a non-max format. Honestly, I haven't. I don't play much sure. of. I haven't played much of either. Or As no, I think I've only seen like one Rotom in Series Ten. Yeah. But there's also restricted. <laughs> yeah. I think one thing that's kind of scary when I see this team. If to, if I was James, I'd be oh, worried. Oh, he's about, Aerodactyl for Tailwind. Yeah, that is good. I, that. I would personally be worried about some of my big attackers have double weaknesses. Like that are pretty yeah, easy to exploit. True. I mean, I have Diancy with a double steel. That's really easy to exploit. But um, Tyranitar, Genesect, and Camerupt all seem to be the big hitters here, and they all have a and, easy quad week that he doesn't have a like an auto redirector. Yeah. Like if he had a what do you call a Gastrodon here, that would be amazing. Yeah. He also has Hoopa with two. Uh, that's right. Uses. That's right. I didn't even see Hoopa on here. Yeah. Um, so if he can get around those, it's I pretty mean, potent. We haven't even talked about Smeargle yet, though. Like, yeah, this kind of just looks like a, a, a cool team with Smeargle on it and less of a Smeargle team, but I don't really know how to make a Smeargle team. I think it's probably not a good idea to make a Smeargle team. I think it's good because yes. you can fit it into uh, whatever you need it to do. So, yeah, I guess we'll kind of feel that way with my team and Mew a little bit. Mm -hmm. I go looking Mew, at them like Mew's very I mean, similar, but yeah, probably better. I think Smeargle's really good when you have the element of surprise. True. Because I mean, but if you draft league. in a draft league, so. you know, oh, it's, he's gonna have Smeargle. I'll bring at least two or three things with Taunt, one thing with a priority yeah. move, and <laughs> I should be fine. Yeah. Not to not to besmirch Smeargle because I absolutely love Smeargle. I think it's really dangerous, but it's it's a lot harder to use. I think in a format with two Pokemon that you're facing off against, and you and that you can't use Dark Void in. He has good status options. Like he has Sleep on Tangela, he has Will O Wisp on Mimikyu and Rotom. Uh, Thunder Wave on T Tar and Rotom. Smeargle can have everything. Mm -hmm. I think this team is decent. When, I don't really. It's not really when, just like popping out to me as great. I think it might be B tier. What are you saying, Casey? Wait, did you go on? Uh, like one, one more. I think we sort of skipped over that. I think is like really good. Is actually a Tox group. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's got another like quad just another quad weakness. Like we were talking about, like it's time to to psychic. Like it's honestly just got so much just like helpful moves, you know. That's true. Does like, it get honestly, wide guard or quick guard? Either of those? I know. I just know it has fake out uh, and. I'll double check. It has fake out. It has knock off. Uh, it has taunt. I'm just looking at all these moves on Draft Uh it Has helping hand. It has faint and bullet punch. Oh, it does get quick and guard. That punch and vacuum wave. Hey, those are it has, huge. It has like all the priority. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I tried to. Steve challenged me to make a series ten team with Hogsgrove. Well, I asked for weird mons, and I just couldn't. It was bad. I didn't know what to do. As, I uh, yeah, I had Toxicroak in series. Was series eight the other one with restricteds? Yeah. Yeah, I had a Toxicroak, uh, uh, white Kyurem team, and it was pretty fucking bad. But it, it like Casey said, it, it had all the moves that I needed. But I mean, other than that, it's a, it's just a piece of paper. Also, if you look at the average base stats, the offense is less than the other two teams, even though it is more balanced across physical. Right, and that's special. a that's like a James signature though. He's a very defensive player. True. Like last last uh, last season three, I think I gave him a five out of five for defense. Mm -hmm. in my rankings. Yeah, yeah but this, this time the only cool. it's a, it's definitely cool. I like it a lot. I um. I'll look. I'm excited to see what like some I... of these new mods can do. Mainly Genesect, Smeargle, and Hoopa. Yeah. I want to be convinced that Hoopa's good. <laughs> That's my challenge to James. That's always fun. All right, yeah. what do we rank it? There's probably something I'm not seeing, but I think I think it's probably B tier. That makes sense. PC? I agree with B, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like, it seems good, but just not as good as the other two. 
and the difference seems large enough that it can go down a tier. All right. Sounds good to me. Moving on to Canner and the Gengars. Oh, he's so he's super hyped yeah, he's about this team. Yeah, I would be too and if I had Mega Zam and, and Didi. <laughs> I mean, honestly, how that's do you nice. really beat Mega Zam and Didi? Uh, wide guard, like, <laughs> a, well, a wide yeah, guard and a prayer. Really well. <laughs> but what if you're like me and don't have wide guard? Then you're uh, just hoping and praying he's in the different division. <laughs> yeah, and that worked for me. Yep. I, I know. I think it, I think that's such a scary combo. I mean, it gets yeah. dunked on by dark types, but and I mean, what kind of dark spread moves do you have? Snarl. They still get. That's about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, still uh, got. Uh, but it, ha it has dazzling gleam. Mm -hmm. Dazzling gleam too. Yeah. yeah. But I think and 175 I damage. special attack. Is Mega Sam actually better Calyrex Shadow, except without the ghost? Um, it might be because the hats it's it's faster and well at least I think it's faster and it gets nasty plot it gets nasty plot and it has a higher special it's attack so, although it does have trace which is kind of a uh, basically depends on the order in which you lead mm -hmm. but yeah um, I would say it's probably yeah probably better but so I'm gonna be honest a team doesn't look amazing to me outside of Zam and Didi. Like, it looks good. But, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't see any big... He's got some He's got some funky spots like uh, like Levani and like Crookedal and yeah. like Carbink. Like, those are kind of some kind of... I mean, Carbink is... You know, in my opinion. Carbink is, is high value. But considering that his... Like, he has followed me... I think there's better choices, you know? He, yeah, he has followed me in Azumarill and stuff, but his only Trick Room setters, I think, are Carbink and Zam. Let's see. Yeah, uh, they're car carbon and Alakazam. Yeah. You don't really, and Alakazam is bo is super frail and offensive, so you don't really want to use that six set trick room. Mm -hmm. And the Carbank is a D tier, so. Yeah, I think it's not it, like I think, something we'll bring every time. I think his uh, his, his Indeedy Zam mode is absolutely terrifying. So if you can find a way around that, he, it's it's all on trick room. But I think Carbank is kind of pretty much taunt bait because I mean it's, it's offensive stats are pretty much non-existent I don't think it gets body press right because I don't think it's the sword it and shield get, it does get body press okay yeah, that's that's something oh I didn't even know it was um, a sword and yeah. shield <laughs> oops uh, yeah, he, I, I watched this video going over his team also scissor and Hariyama kind uh like don't rely on it but a big part of why they use them is their priority, priority yeah and that's anti-synergy yeah also I, Talonflame can't use flying moves if it's at full HP mm -hmm. I think this team could be made better if Scissor was switched out for a uh, a better Trick Room setter in B tier. Like, I know Rudorigus yeah. is left in, in B tier. Could be kind of nice here. That's yeah. a great choice. Maybe, that could, agree, yeah. maybe then you'd have to switch out Crocodile for something else that's not a ground type if you don't want to double up on that too much. Um, looking at typings, though, Rock Weakness, something else that uh, Rudorigus could be good for. It would definitely hurt oh, yeah. the water. Also, the, yeah, the water is a good, like a bad. Because he, do, he, he doesn't, he has one grass type which is Levani, and Levani sucks. <laughs> and then he has Peekable, hey, which talk, is really don't slow. Don't talk down to Levani. He said it's his favorite Mon. <laughs> well, it's cool, but it sucks. I know. It's like I, my jelly bean and my, uh, my Nuzlocke. I know. It's Levani's yeah. baby form is like my favorite Gen 5 Pokemon, so I get it. Yeah. I feel it. Yeah. I think... Like, uh, it's cute. Also, everything... Like, this team would be very different without Ndidi, because without Ndidi, it enables... Scissor and Hariyama, but it also like kind of ruins. I don't know. Like, I feel like his whole trick room mode is super reliant on Ndidi, but Ndidi is so good at it that it can pull it off. Like because just stopping fake out and having follow me. Yeah. So even though Carving is a bad setter, well, not a bad setter, a bad setter. Even though its value, it still will probably get it off. That's true. Also, because it's also got a sturdy, so that's. Oh yeah, and it has sturdy. I helpful, I guess. But like in DD plus a trick room user is almost always guaranteed, even in draft. It's really hard mm -hmm. to play around that. True. I mean, some teams just aren't equipped to deal with that. To be honest, I know I wasn't when I fought yeah. Bone season two. <laughs> yeah, I had to pull out some uh, wild strats for season two for my playoff match versus him, but. It was great. 
Mm-hmm. I think I know okay, we've so we already we, we've talked his trick room stuff to death, but I think he's one yeah. extra trick room setter away from this being a lot more of a threatening yeah. team. Like switch out, Valley, like you can switch out Levani for yeah. something else that has trick room. I'm sure in whatever tier Levani's in. Yeah, like it's C tier, and there are good trick room setters in C tier. Like I got Sloking there. Levani should not be C tier. <laughs> yes. Um, so Valley, I like Sil Valley. Yeah, spell is cool. Uh, I used I, I used it in series in our season one series five. I don't really know. The same kind of failed to use it in season two because of the higher power creep. So I'm not considering this is even more higher power creep. I'm not quite sure how it'll do, but I think it's better without Max. It also has Tailwind now. Is um, there any other weird stuff that uh, Silvall gets now? Let's see. Every so it has an insane move pool. Yeah, but um, it's, see, it's basically what you want to draft if you want to use uh, hidden power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, he does have intimidate, which is cool with crook, which can also switch into the ghost and dark moves going for and DD or Zam. Mm -hmm. So I like that pickup. And crook's fast. It can there. do. Uh... Yeah. It can also snarl in case they're coming out in DD with a yeah. special dark type. I think Crocodile's Mar really, I think Crocodile's really good. Yes. I agree, especially on the team. Marowak has insane damage output mm -hmm. and the bulk is not that bad, especially physically. Right. Like it's 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 not bulky though. It's kind of just there. Mm -hmm. But it it can live a, a hit or two. So I think this is a pretty good team. Not quite as good as I think he thinks it is, but maybe <laughs> he also um, sees knows a lot more about it than we don't because he drafted it. Yeah. But I still think I still think it's A tier. I'm fine with that. Really? Okay. What, what, what do you think, Casey? First, I, I was gonna put him in uh, in B tier. Ooh. But um. I also haven't been thinking so good lately, so uh, maybe you guys are right. <laughs> Poppin, what do you think? Poppin? Sorry, I had to step away for a bit. What? Okay. <laughs> uh, low A or high B? I say high B. Okay. I will, All right. I, 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 I bow down to that. Although just indeed Zam seems so hard to stop. Yeah, it's pretty scary. Houston Hanluchas. Um, Ooh, it's Tay. Hey, Tay. Tay always picks out some Ooh, scary shit. Pretty good team member. Uh, yeah, this is yeah. the scary team. <laughs> Let's it's see. Got meowstic, it has Meowstic Darkrai. That's pretty... That's the first thing oh, yeah. you can see. That's pretty evil. <laughs> um, then it also Greninja has... Victini. Yeah, Greninja and Victini are so cool. He doesn't have Shuckle, though, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still mad at you, too. That's yeah, okay. <laughs> That's okay. It was, it was a good video. At least I hope it will be eventually. <laughs> I told you. I told you to come out in 2023 at the latest. So. That's good. At least we have a, a guaranteed date for the latest. Yeah. I think Crobat's uh, pretty good. I <laughs> think Darkrai's good. good. Uh, I think Greninja's good. Focus Tailwind. I think uh, Aromatisse. You told me to pick it up, and um, he beat you. I think Aromatisse. Well, he beat he beat me anyway. Yeah. Yeah, um, I love Aromatis. Well, that's high value. Uh, it's Haunt Immune. Your Dilly is cool. Power of Meteor Beam stuff. Also, Storm Drain. I'm trying to see if he has a water weakness. Uh, it's not that bad. So, Storm Drain isn't crucial, but it can help. Hitmonchan, I'm not quite sure if it's that good in C tier. Like, if it was D tier, I think it's good value. But. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty decent C tier, just, yeah. just the inner focus by itself. True and fake out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, being able. I guess to... it could be. It's bad man show. Yeah, exactly. Um. Also, Iron Fist. If you want to go offensive. Mm -hmm. He has Intimidate with Luxray. He has a uh, bulky Gligar. That's pretty cool. Yeah, just like Evie. Evie Light can live things. It's decently. It doesn't have bad speed, and seventy five is not horrible. Mm -hmm. Attack. Wishy washy. I like it. You said that it's bad. Let's hear it. It's bad, but it might just be because I'm bad. I, the one time I brought it last season, I got absolutely just demolished by Steve. So 
maybe not the best um, showing for Wishy Washy, but yeah. I like it in theory. It's really, really bulky, but it um, it still doesn't. Its HP is so bad. Having like 140 defense doesn't make up for it. I'm mm-hmm. on the side of Mega Steelix. I think that it is insane value. I do like Mega Steelix a lot. Uh, it doesn't have sand though, so you'd have to set it manually, which kind of sucks. Mm-hmm. I'm not even sure if Mega Steelix shows up here, honestly. I think Mega Steelix just enabling the Greninja and Darkrai. I think that's all it needs to do. Yeah. Like, it, it covers them. Uh, it covers Greninja and Bikini quite well as well. Except for... Does anything like, on his team get... Like, the, those three is a good core. Bikini like, gets speed swap, too. That's pretty nasty for Steelix. Oh, it does? Mm-hmm. That's very nasty. It would also die from the Earthquake, um, though, which is kind of sad. Yeah. He doesn't have any Rage Powder or Follow Me which slightly weakens his trick room mode, but I would not be happy. Like, I would have a hard time prepping for this team. I think that yeah. it's very good. Let's see, looking at this. Also, he has my mascot which with Intimidate. Yeah. And so that always wins. It kind of sucks. His, his only net weakness is ground, and he has uh, two immunities to it. And... Yeah. Also, oh. Greninja can cover even though it's not resistance. Mm-hmm. It's like, like one thing I need. I tried to work on for my type chart is even if I didn't have the best resistances, I wanted to make sure I had good ways to hit it offensively. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. So that's always a thing. I don't know. I think this team's pretty, pretty sweet. Yeah. And you, I, I mean, that, yeah, I like it. Yeah. I think this might be S. I would put it in S. I'm not quite sure, though. Yeah. I think so. Okay. okay. What do you think, Casey? Uh, I mean, maybe I'm just lowballing everything, but I think it's high A. <laughs> I can see both high A or lower S. But, I mean, then again, we also haven't gone through um, like yeah. a whole lot of teams yet. I will say that it's definitely um, better I think than I'll mine put it, and uh, reduce. Yeah, I think I'll put it in S for now. Also, on my own personal tier list, I'm going to move the Gengars back up to A just because Indeedee's Zam is it. Because like, Indeedee's Zam makes me like, piss my pants. I've been trying to prep for it in my head, even though I don't have to prep for it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm moving that up on my right, version. Sure. But yeah, I know, I know if I had to play in DD Zam, I would just be shit out of luck. And now it's me. Woohoo! Uh, this seems bad. I've already looked at it. <laughs> oh. Give it F tier. I'm sad. Just kidding. Let's see. It's probably okay. Let's it see here. So. <laughs> so Lazzle, decently fast, pretty bad defenses. Mega Lucario, absolutely amazing. Mew, amazing. Luke, Hydreigon, super value. Magmar, pretty pretty good value. Murkrow, super duper value. Bulu, I liked Bulu on your team, Raph, because it covers your Earthquake weaknesses pretty well. Because, I mean, you got yeah. Berserker, Ampharos, um, what, Magmar, and Mega Lucario that are all not the bulkiest yeah. and could all just go down to an Earthquake, but not if it's grassy. Exactly. Um, yeah. Also, it helps enable Serena, because Serena can do grassy glides. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, Slow King, as we know, is a great Trick Room setter. So is Mew. Mew's great at everything it does. Um, and Snorlax is very good in Trick Room. Uh, what we and we were talking earlier, Berserker with Mega Lucario is absolutely just disgusting. Yeah, the the damage it can get pull out is insane. Mm-hmm. One forty five adaptability, one twelve speed, leaves poor Z in the dust. Yeah, that's and nice. a good yeah. typing. Yes. True. Yeah, and your only weaknesses are ground and rock. Um, ground, we talked ground, about. Before. I have yeah, ground. I have a lot of weaknesses, but I also have a lot um, of answers. I have an immunity. Uh, wait, I have two immunities because of Hydreigon. That helps a lot. Uh, two resistances mm-hmm. and uh, and because of grassy terrain, it's honestly just like a whole nother like level of resistance on its own. Mm-hmm. Other weakness to rock, but Berserker and Mega Lucario both deal with that. Mega yes. Lucario, especially with Bullet Punch. Yeah. Um, like, 
when I like just looking at your team right now, I see that I say, like, oh, I probably want to bring Diancy, but these two alone pretty much say no Diancy for me. I was worrying about fire types for a second, and then I and then I just looked at my type chart here, and I'm like, oh yeah, I have Slow King, Snorlax has Thick Fat, Hydreigon exists, Magmar with Eevee Light is a good switch in. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I like I'm the I like the double anymore. follow me. I think that's good, especially because one of them is. Obviously, that yeah. doesn't want to be follow meing, but it's a great switch yeah. up if you bring it. I, I'm, I'm like, yeah, like I, I didn't get Lucario for the follow me, mm -hmm. but I have it. Uh, if does you, you also get follow it. me? No. It does not. Probably, if it right? did, it would be banned. It does not. <laughs> if it did, it would be insane. It gets, it gets ally switch though. Oh, okay, that's still good. Also, oh wait, I have four after you users, and three of them are my like three of my slowest mons. Everything's a trick room mon. That's nice. funny. That's going to trick room at least. Uh, three quash users. One of them is Prankster. Yeah, Murkrow's uh, super good. I'm, nice. I'm just looking at the speed control. Ooh, I got speed swap. Let's go. Yeah, Neo. and you have three Tailwinders. I think Hydreigon's a super good pick. I don't know why it was B tier. Yeah, because I was looking and I, I was wanted to. I had Dragon for a little bit. I was looking through B tier because I had one available. And I wanted a strong special attacker because my team is mostly physical. I wanted something to help out with my ground weakness. And I saw a dragon, I'm like... There you go. Yes. <coughs> Alright, as for ranking, I would put this in... Where do you want to put this Where the hell's in? your logo? Oh, there it is. I'll put it in S. I'm not too certain on the ordering, but it would be an S, I think. I think... So like, as much as, much as it uh, you know pains me, um, I'd also put Graf's team in S. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hi higher or lower than Tay though? Um. Well, Tay's not in S tier for oh, me. Oh. So. Yeah. True. Sorry, Tay. Hmm. I'd probably say higher than Tay. Your team has a lot more things to pop out and make me worry. <laughs> Mega Lucario's probably number one thing that makes me worry. Yeah, and then... Ooh, now we got AC. Alright, I don't even remember what AC's team looks like. Oh yeah, AC's always... He has, he has Ensign Gothitelle. Dude, he, um, he's he got his Indeedee Thievel back. How did I not realize he had Ensign? Very nice. I did not know that. Oh, Trap Inch! <laughs> I didn't know anything about his team, I just realized. I guess I knew he had Altaria. Wait, he yeah, has that was he, his first pick, he, right? Yeah, he has four A tiers. That's pretty good. Ooh, indeed, oh, nice. he got the tell. That's a lot. This yeah, hype. got the tell's awesome. I wanted to, I wanted to pick yeah. it up. Got the tell is dope. Um, so I think like, I think Zapdos is like ultra high value. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I'm looking like, at this team, and it looks like the... it looks good, but it looks kind of lacking in offense. Let's I see. disagree with you like, because... entirely. <laughs> No, because, like, Ensign is, a, like, even though it has a high attack, it's mostly a support mon. Gothitelle can't, like, like, they all, like, can do stuff, but it's not, like, it's not as strong compared to all the other teams. Yeah, I still disagree with That's you, right. actually. Um, because I think Zapdos, actually, um, is, like, a pretty, pretty huge, like, uh, enabler for um, anything with even like a half decent like attack stat like Incineroar yeah. or uh, Electivire. Just from coaching know? and the... Uh, like Zapdos just goes in there, hit them with the yeah. coaching. And the Intimidate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Uh, I forgot coaching. about coaching. I'll say he has two mm -hmm. Intimidate Deterrence because of Lurantis with uh, both Leaf Storm and Super Power with Contrary. Oh, That's Lurantis cool. gets Leaf Storm too? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Yeah. Took him run special. Yes. And slow, so it works well in Trick Room. Uh, Gothitelle is a, tr a good trick room setter. Indeedy can do it too. Does Miss Magis get it? Yeah. Miss Magis does get it, but Miss Magis is, is frail, right? Yeah. It's, it's physically frail, not specially. It's pretty frail. It's oh, look at the face stats. That's cool. 60, 60, 60. 105, 105, 105. Cool. Pretty fast. I think... Ooh, um... Oh, wait, never mind. This, team, this team's S tier. It has Cleffy. I think that, uh, what do you call, Electivire is pretty nice with Zapdos coaching, and you can redirect electric moves if you need to, because you got the uh, 
the motor yeah. drive. It also it also has follow me. Which yeah, is exactly. Quite good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's nice. I like Prem. This team is like very. The speed seems a little off to me. I was thinking that too. Like, the only tailwinder is Mega like, Altaria. Yeah, and that's like like it's a decent tailwinder, but it's only eighty speed. I think it's, it's it has speed. has yeah. three trick room users though, which is good. But like other than like there's a lot of middling stuff like well although in DD Thievel, he used that really well season two. Got that again. Yeah, DD Thievel's mm -hmm. pretty um, uh, aggressive. But I and like you were saying, I think tri you see a team like with three trick room setters and a pretty low average speed, and you want to you want to see it in trick room, but, yeah, but his slowest mons aren't that powerful. Well, like he has trap inch, which is really slow, mm -hmm. but that's only ten. And then his next slowest is Lurantis at forty five, and then he has like uh, sixty, sixty, sixty five. It's kind of crunched around that middle speed stat. Yeah, and only one okay. tailwind user. And he has Klefki with Prankster Thunderwave, but Psychic Terrain, Anti-Synergy. I think Klefki's going to so, be pulling a lot of weight here as just like a Prankster screen yeah. setter. And then dying. Yeah, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. There's even more Anti-Synergy because Fake Out Ensign with NDD. Like, half of Ensign's thing is Fake Out. I'm not going to lie, this team doesn't look super hype to me. I think it's some of his past teams been a tad bit better. I agree. I would honestly call this B tier. I think. Yeah, I would. I would agree. I would agree as well. Sorry, Above or below James? I don't even remember James's I, team anymore. <laughs> um, I had Smeargle. Mm, I'll put it below just for Smeargle. All right. I'm gonna check James's team again because I want to be objective. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> I've got. Uh, oh yeah, he had Drake's old T-Tar Hoopa. I'm, I'm putting AC below that. I think. Janisect. Yeah. Okay, now we got Hoffmania. Oh yeah, the Rillaboom team. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. going down, right off the bat, this looks a lot like my Season 1 team. He's got Rillaboom, Excalibur, Palisand, and Chandelure. True. Ooh, I like yeah, the only bad thing is that um, Palisand Excelgor is like kind of bad. Palisand Excelgor sucks. Yeah. yeah, especially without Max. Yeah. I don't know. Like, he kind of ruined mm -hmm. his. He got rid of Driftblim for yeah. Palisand Excelgor. I do not understand that. Maybe ex I'm gonna see if ex does yeah. Excelgor get anything cool in a National Dex format. Um, no. Oh, maybe. Knock off. Um, spikes. If you're into that kind of thing. Um, okay. So at least get like taunt or something like that. I don't think I like slow. Mega Ampharos. That's that's a good pretty, idea. Pretty bu pretty bulky, decently slow, high special attack. And a lot of electric that. immunities are from abilities, so we can just smash right through those. Um, <clears throat> I yeah. think the high points on this team, Rillaboom, uh, obviously. I mean, yeah, Rillaboom is totally insane. Melmetal is really cool. Yeah, I think this. Um, I think this is a great um, trick room team. This is like uh, the trick yeah. room mode that AC's team wants. Slowbro, Shenotic, and Melmetal are just kind of beasts in that. Yeah. Palisand, you can kind of forget about. <laughs> Clefairy is going to make sure. Can help set that up. Right. Clefairy and Scrafty um, are going to make sure it goes up. Who are the setters, thing though? I'll say, though. Wait, who are the uh, Slowbro. Is it Slowbro and Shandy? Okay. Yeah. Kind of but work. you don't really want to yeah, yeah. set it with Shandy. Because I think it's really I think Shandy sucks, personally. I, I think that it could do things, but it's hard to do those. <laughs> well, the thing about. Uh, does Shand Shandy's weak to every single spread move that's ever existed, and <laughs> I don't think there's a wide guard user on this team. That's a good point. Uh, let, yeah, I can't see that you're using the. Does it even thing. show up on here as wide guard? Uh, it's it's an option in the prep in the ball hawk thing. Yeah, I like, in, I like ball hawks way better, but I don't want to type in all that junk. Yeah, same. Um, also, I don't really. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really prefer. I don't really like Clefairy in a non-max format as much. Like, it's still... Mm -hmm. It's still a follow me easier with Friend Guard, but Friend Guard, in my opinion, is less valuable when it's not supporting a frail max target. And also, especially that it takes up an A tier when I got Magmar and C tier. Like, when you compare mm -hmm. those, it's 
I, I think I disagree. I think I know I've talked about spread moves a lot, but I think in in the format like this, we say, "Oh, just use Earthquake to get around it." I think it I think it helps out decently. Um, but I do I think Clefairy is still a pretty good choice. But the thing here is just there's there's a lot of holes in this team's defenses. I think. Yeah, I feel like this team. This I feel like this team had potential, but it, he didn't capitalize on it. I and think I think I think this might be. The low B tier for me. I would agree. Me, I think maybe even high C, but I don't think so. There's a couple monsters really that I would personally switch out. Like I would definitely switch yeah. out Palisand and, and so something I was looking at personally. I don't even think. Yeah. Um, where is it? Um, where does it show if you have a mod of that type? I think on a team like this, um, with all that good trick room stuff, I think. Hear me out. Um, Crabominable could be pretty good. It's very slow. Abominable. Ice is a great I love type. Abominable. No, True. Uh, it's that got hyper great. cutter, so no yeah. intimidate. This is dope. Yeah, so that's um, my rec. Because I mean, he has yeah. really not much in the way of intimidate deterrent besides Milotic, but Milotic's not too good yeah. in trick room. Although I will say, Rillaboom, he does have Rillaboom, and Rillaboom is probably, in my opinion, the best, the best mod in a non-max format that isn't restricted. Well, I mean, there's a reason why it's got like over 50% right now. Like, yeah, like, like it's, like it's, it's, it's not like we're doing that deck, which is why things went before it. Mm -hmm. But I think it's still probably like the best. The best. Yeah, I mean, Rillaboom's like, awesome. Rillaboom's still pretty like one one dimensional though. Like it's it's incredibly true. good, but like it's pretty one. It's it's yeah, I don't know. I think that's it, true. I, glide. I don't know. I think it's more flexible than you're giving it credit for. I think with the uh, versatility of like knockoff and uh, snarl, I, with the most success yeah. I had with Rillaboom was. The the less conventional I played it when I had it. Yeah, you beat me in playoffs mm -hmm. with Dynamax weakness policy. Yeah, weird. <laughs> I think I think having a mon that can be be good at doing predictable stuff and unpredictable stuff is pretty nice. I like honestly, I think this team would be better if these trades sure. if these trades weren't here. Yes, I I hard to agree with. That. Yeah. But I think I, I think it's the worst team so far, but still B tier. Mm -hmm. Fair. I don't know if I'll put them on lower than uh, team lower than that because I kind of feel bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, well, one one okay. thing before we continue though, like yeah. uh, you know, take the stuff with a grain of salt. You know, like people watching. Yeah, I'm a. Um, I'm not good like, at VGC. Yeah. Everyone. This everyone, is all like. Um, this is all subjective, and none of us are like, smart. Pretty darn low. Hey. Yeah, that too. Yeah. But also, like everyone ranked like Hawkeye Ben like pretty low last season. But you know, he like won. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I, yeah. I ranked number two on Jordan's PR and came in like twelfth. <laughs> yeah, I. I, th I, I thought your nothing. team was good, Poppin. But, but I played like dog shit. Yes. No, but <laughs> the Jordan site <laughs> overhyped it. <laughs> um, yeah, we don't have. This is all our opinions, and it's all a quick look, like a five minute look on each team. So. It's nothing in detail, and also we aren't very smart. Yeah, that too. All right, who we got? Carboni. We're not really smart, but you know, well, we got Carboni. No, I was playing. Regilecki, good. Salamence, good. Torcat, good. Fable. Mega Salamence is hype. Uh -huh. Um, and that Regilecki is really tough too. Being able to sand slash can actually do something, I guess, because he has 110 attack. Um. Yeah, I Although Bohm had Sand Slash and like never used it. Yeah, I think Sand but Slash that, is that was Bohm's true. Thing. I, I I think I see I see no point in using Sand Slash when you have Mammoth Swine. Granted, yes, it has Sand Rush, but a hundred, if you're just using your ability to boost your speed, is not doing anything, especially if you can get intimidated. Yeah. Also, mm -hmm. I think Glaily sucks. Glaily does suck. I'm sorry, Glaily sucks. I don't like. I understand if you want an Ice type, I guess, but there's probably better Ice types in D tier. Um, mm -hmm. Torcat is cool. Uh, is that? I think that's his only fake out. Uh, it looks like it. Yeah, only fake out. Yeah. Um, uh, he already has intimidate on Salamence, but that Omega, so it's not quite as good for switching and pivoting. Mm -hmm. So I, I think I like Torcat here. Glaring Slowking is worse than Kanto Slowking, so I'm not, I don't like it. But also, it's actually decently good. It's but also good against you too. That's what you yeah. Got for, bro. <laughs> uh, I never. 
I act, uh, like I, I picked it up last season and I just never found a real a good opportunity to use it. I had it, uh, I brought in the bench versus James, um, all three games. So, I don't know. Poison's just kind of an Poison Psychic's an awkward defensive typing. A little bit, yeah. That's for true Setter. Because Dark and Ghost are like what all the Trickum Setters are weak to, but they're decently common. But then there's also Ground, and Ground is super common and super good offensively. I worry about this team's uh, damage output. I think. Yeah, that's true. I think it's Bisharp. decently weak. I mean, besides yeah. Bisharp, it's weak to just kind of stat lowering moves besides these two. Yeah. Um, when you when it comes to speed control, you have Tailwind, obviously, and then you have down here somewhere. Um, Gigless Sloking, which is pretty good Trick Room. Jellicent's probably actually better uh, for setting Trick Room than Sloking even is, so maybe swap him for another Trick Room attacker. Um, and then there's some well, kind of guys who are stuck in the middle here with not, like, I think Chestnut's cool, but I don't think it's good. Um, yeah. There's a, Lecky's hype, yeah. but... Um, and I guess he does have Jellicent, Amoswine, Chestnut, and Loyal to the old ground types. But also he has he has a big ground weakness if you look at the team. He has mm -hmm. one resistance, one immunity, and five weaknesses. And three of those weaknesses kind of are three three of his four best mons. Yeah, it's not even like all his low mons, his low tiers have yeah. that. That's unfortunate. This uh Mega Salamence is great though. Physical or special area mm -hmm. lead is really good. One thing that's kind of, um, like, there's a lot less Helping Hand than I thought here, and Helping Hand's really good with Mega Ments for those super fast boosted, uh, yeah. uh, what do you call Hyper Voices. Yeah. I can see Ments Clefable being a strong lead multiple yeah. times. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could what? You can do uh, mm -hmm. Follow Me into Tailwind, Follow Me into Dragon Dance, and if they get if they guess what you're doing wrong, <laughs> that's not so, uh, yeah. that's a bad spot to be in. I'd call this a B-tier team. I think I would, but I also think it's worse than all the other B tier teams. Which team is this? Uh, really? A Honestly, I, I think that like even um, just like the combo of like Reggie Lucky plus like Salamance, you know, like that's gonna like mess up a lot of teams. Like you know, really put them on their back foot. You know, like turn yeah, one. I'm, right. I'm gonna be honest. Like they're on their speed. Yeah, I think a Lucky Clefable Salamance is great, and then everything else is. Decent, but kind of bad. I like Toracat. So, I would put Toracat sure. in those four. Uh, no, I like Toracat, but like as a whole, mm. like, like I don't see too much synergy between them. I would, I would agree on that. Well, for sure, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I personally think it's the worst B tier, but I can understand if you would put it higher because a lucky Salamence and Clefable is insane. Alrighty, um, mm -hmm. Nimbasa Electros from Cheryl. Her team, her first couple picks were. Can we take a? Can we, can we take a, like a five minute break real quick? Absolutely. Yeah. Canner thinks that yeah, car bank is poggers, time. so maybe we shouldn't doubt it. <laughs> oh. Oh, I want to watch Sticky's video, but I don't want to pollute my mind. It just came out. Yeah. I'll be back in a sec, too. Hey, so, Poppin's video. I am here. I am the only one here. And while I'm here, I'm going to spread propaganda. The Aaron line, including Lairon, Agron, and Mega Agron, is the best Pokemon line in existence. It's simple. They are adorable, but then they get cool. They're weird dinosaur things, but it, it, I don't know, they're just really cool, and I love them, and you should love them too. Also, Liberty Voluptrace is the best team in the VBLS and VBLN, both combined. Um, I won season two. In season three, I decided to be the villain, and I went eight and zero, and then I lost, but it was fun. 
season one, it was my first time playing draft league, and I managed to make playoffs. Same here. And now he's here. Oh yeah, hey Poppin. What's up? Spreading propaganda about why I'm the best team in the ah. BBLS BBLA. I see, I see. Nothing, uh, and also, nothing new. And also, I have had all the success while being the youngest coach, so. Because you got the most free time. Double true. Bug brain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's a good point. Okay, so, uh, are we on to Cheryl's team? Uh, I guess we are. Should we wait for KC or? Oh, I thought he was back. <laughs> My start. bad. Oh. Who were you spreading propaganda no. to if he wasn't, or just in the chat? <laughs> oh, I was spreading it to the video because people are going to be watching this. Oh, that's a bold assumption, my friend. I mean, I, I, I'm, I, I'm going to guess this gets at least 10 views, <laughs> maybe even 20. We will see. Yeah. This team I was, think Cheryl, I'm pretty sure Cheryl thought this was Dynamax at first, but this team is still really good without Dynamax. Yeah, those, those first three picks were like, what, uh, uh, Charizard, Venusaur, and like what, Dragapult? Uh, uh, yeah, right. also right. also had Colossal originally. Yeah. But yeah, this team was and, scary right I, off the bat. So one thing I'm kind of sad about is I thought that Umbreon was perfect on this team, and we were talking about it. She decided to take Comfy instead, mm -hmm. but also then I realized Mandibuzz was C tier, so I got her to take Mandibuzz. So it's just kind of worse Umbreon, but that worked. Yeah. So um, I think uh, this team is Pumpkin hyper is, offense. Is pretty good. Yeah, this is a it's sick very game. hyper uh, offense. I love it. Has Megazard, uh, Venusaur, and Darm. Those mm -hmm. are all. Well, Venusaur is less of a nuke. But can still do stuff with chlorophyll sleep powder and damage. Darm and Zard are nukes. Dragapult is super fast and strong. Yeah. I think uh, this is the team. You, you cannot out firepower or outspeed this team. I think to yeah. beat this team, you need to go defensive. You need to go trick room. Because the trick room mode well, is very lacking. I think you can out firepower this team. Because if you can kill the month, they have like, there's like no bulk here. Pretty much. It's like a very frail team. It's like Mandibuzz, Mandibuzz is good. Oh, I didn't defense. see this minus three rock weakness. But, yeah. Tauros has a good move pool in Intimidate, but still, like, Mandibuzz is the only Pokemon on this team that I would actively call bulky. Mm hmm. A Venusaur, maybe, but I feel like. If, if you can live a hit and then get a hit off, then you'll probably kill it. And that's the problem. But also, it's going to be hard to live a hit when there's Raichu Pinkurchin and Zard Y Darm and Dragapult doing Dragapult things. I think Zard Y Darm is the scariest part of this team. Yes. Although, if you have something that resists um, Sunwell. Yeah. Wait. Megas happen at the start of the turn before any moves, right? Mm -hmm. Does it happen so before or after switching? It's um, after switch or no, after switching, yeah. Okay, so you can't switch in rain move, but you but you can still use gangster rain dance. Right. That's okay. probably the best way to deal with that, honestly. Yeah. If you could prankster <laughs> rain dance with like something with hurricane and a water move, that shuts down pretty much the entirety of the sun mode. Yes. But Empoleon is also cool you don't here. want to set rain because Raichu comes in and thunders you, so it's kind of yeah. a, um, a guess. I think game. Empoleon is cool, but I like also, Empoleon a lot. Um, has Defiant, but not really worrying about Intimidate much. I, I think the only the only Pokemon that you really want to protect from Intimidate is Darm. I guess maybe yeah, Tauros. Doesn't really even have any. Wait, yeah, is, is, uh, it's better is especially. Is it Defiant or Contrary? It's defined. It's defined. But I still yeah, think it but could, it's a special attacker. I think it could still work to discourage, uh, what do you call them? Snarls and stuff. Because, I mean, uh, 86 is not the worst. Uh, what yeah. does Empoleon's move pool look like? Uh, I guess I another thing is kind of hard. Does Empoleon want to be in the sun? Yeah, that's another question. I don't well, I don't really understand Empoleon on this team, but I think Empoleon's really cool, so I'll allow it. <laughs> but that's just bias. Um, yeah, I'm going to be honest. Pink Urchin might actually be bad but 
because like it's cool, but it would be way cooler if it was fast. P Pink Urchin could be good here for Lightning Rod, but the, why would you bring electric moves when you can just bring rock moves against this team? Yeah, I mean, and the only reason, and I think he'll probably be using it more for electric terrain or with Raichu, but that could also interfere with Venusaur, Venusaur Sleep Powder. Yeah. And he yeah, does sure. have... I, I, uh... I ran Sorry, him off she... with the show earlier today, uh, mm -hmm. and um, I... yeah, she definitely tried to sleep powder me when the train was up at least once or twice. Yeah, that's <laughs> that is a easy also, thing to do. Sorry, Cheryl, if I refer to you as he, because I think I might have accidentally done that multiple yeah, times. Yeah, this league is totally male dominated. So <laughs> yeah, I, I looked at I, I looked at it. It was like fifteen. He yeah, I saw <laughs> two she her and one they them. Yeah. Um. It's but just yeah, a bad habit. Uh, she has. Three Trick Room users, but none of them are really good bulky Trick Room users. Aldino's bulky, but Aldino's not good, so... <laughs> Aldino sucks. I'm sorry. It's yeah. not Aldino, so... <laughs> Although, actually, 100... 103, 86, 86 is not bad. No, it's not... It's, it not, it's, it's bulky, it's not really but it, it doesn't do anything besides set Trick Room. And maybe... Does it get... It gets Heal True. Pulse, which is kind of cool, but Comfy does that way better. And also gets Trick Room. Yeah. Yeah. I think this team... Comfy also gets Tailwind. I think this team is Comfy's very vol volatile. This is a feast or oh, famine team for that. sure. Ups and downs. I think when it works, it works super well, but it can also be countered decently easily. Oh, she's not in her division. I wanted to play this team. Damn. Um. I think I think this is I think this is a uh, high mid B tier. I say this is an A tier. I like the, I like hyper offense. I think it can work well. Maybe one or two moves to help shore up some of the ground weakness and... Uh, I think I'd put this above AC, but below James in B tier, personally. KC. Oh, you know, if we have Canner in B, it has to be behind Canner's team. Oh, I put Canner in A. <laughs> um, okay, we're really stacking up this B tier. Yeah, well, you don't want to put anybody in C tier. Also, I don't think oh, any of the teams are C tier. I think all the, I think all the teams are good. But now, wait, no, we don't have him yet. Uh, now we have, oh, now we have Sticky. Let's actually, see. I think Sticky's team's hella good. Uh, Seth, Lele, Excadrill, Drift, Blimp, Stoutland, Togeki. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, this is good. Okay, Lele, Blissef is hype because Blissef is one of the few non psychic types that gets expanding force. Mm hmm. Also, Lele can be telepathy for Mind Blown. Mm hmm. Also,. Uh -huh. That's just really cool. Extra Trail for Powdon is really cool. Yeah. Togekiss is great. Driftblim Lele is mean, really good. I, Powdon I Stoutland really... has won VBLS yeah. two times in a row now, mm -hmm. also, Ooh. so that's that's good. Well, original, well, no, not it was Giggle Stoutland last time. I mean, this time. What's, no, because you, you won. Yeah. And no, it was, it was. Didn't you have ben, Stoutland and Powdon? Yeah, but, but Ben has had Giggle. Oh. That's oh, right. Shoot, AC, I, AC I even commentated that match and I fucking forgot uh, that. Yeah. Well, I, you forgot. You didn't know shoot. anything that when you were commentating. <laughs> that was kind of funny. That's why it's fun to have someone like me commentate. Who? Yeah. <laughs> I no, literally it, it only, was entertaining. I only play VGC like what when it's for these draft league games, and I, I try my best. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Bla I, Mega Blastoise is insane. That's yeah. like really bulky. Follow me, fake out. Insane yeah. offense. Mega Blastoise launcher. can do whatever it wants. It does Mega not. Mega Blastoise is so Mega good. Launcher. Mm -hmm. Mega launcher, you know, Mega uh, freaking. Uh, Wait, talk? Sorry. Mega, Mega launcher like, terrain um, pulse. Terrain pulse. That's yeah. a one fifty base power move. No drawbacks. Literally, I think really it comes down to the fact that Mega Blastoise. So here's sorry. Here's the uh, here's the dream scenario. You have Lele plus something else. You get in Toga Kiss and Mega Blastoise. You follow me. You shell smash with the psychic terrain up, so you can't get faked. Oh wait, no, Toga Kiss. Fuck, never mind. Togekiss gets hit by fake out in psychic terrain. Yeah. Either way, you want to get the shell smash and the and the water Ooh, spout up, and I then everything about does. Smash. Yeah. I about shell like smash. In, in any in what do you call it? like Nat Dex OU, Mega Blastoise is one of the few months that get that got banned alongside Mega Zam and some other stuff. So when you get banned from a format that has every mon legal in it, that's a, that's a sign that you're on the right track and. Oh, it's so good. Or this team, Charger Bug Battery is actually really good to support. Lele, um, Uranguru, the, the telepathy spread moves with like uh, Surf Blastoids, I guess, Earthquake to Powder, Exodrill, Mind Blown, Cephalon. I think Electros is also like 
Electros and Muck are like two of the best D tiers. Yeah, Electros is, those are pretty good attacking stats and mm -hmm. it can function in Trick Room. Rangoon's a good Trick Room setter as well. Um, Muck, yeah, Muck's pretty good for a D tier. I really like this team. Yeah, yeah same nice. here. I think this is... I, I'd be... I'd mm -hmm. put him in S to be honest. I might put it in S as well. Let's do it. Boom. I think it's better than yours too. I think Sorry, it might bro. be as well. This is a great team. My S tier is not ranked. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, he has so pop many it, options. Pop in, can we? Right. Pop in, at the end of the, at, when we're done, can we? Um, me and Casey share our screens, and you show it so that you can see our decorations. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Cool. Who's up now? I think it's Ooh, me. the first pick. Oh no, nope. Piedmont Dawn Wings. I'm gonna be honest. I was very surprised by Coco first pick. Yeah. Me too. It's to good. Be honest. But I thought something more exciting would go. Uh, sky, uh, sky drop isn't allowed, right? Because it's a cut move. Yeah. Okay. So that makes it worse. Um. Let me see. Anything yeah, I mean, to take like... advantage of? Got nothing to take advantage of electric terrain. Um. Swamper sort of seems out of place too. Oh no, it's got Pelipper, never mind. No, Swampert Pelipper is Pel pretty cool, but Pelipper is bad. Uh-huh. I agree with that. Um Hey Ferrothorn, nice in the rain too, you know. Uh Weavile's cool. I like Weavile. Ooh, Weavile Kyogre, except it's not Kyogre. I think um I think it's <laughs> um well, no. I don't want to shit on it. <laughs> I think the only one of the downsides is that the trick room mode is Ferrothorn and pretty much only Ferrothorn. And the setters are Behem, who's not yeah, very good, bad. and uh, Nyligo, mm -hmm. who's awesome, but not a good trick setter. Right, it can function as one uh, if it has to, but yeah, Oricorio is a really cool. I love like Oricorio. That. That's it's super it's, flexible. Yeah, I was it's definitely decently fast tailwind. Mm -hmm. it. it could be a ghost type um, if, it wants to, if you're coming up against fake outers. Yeah. Pelipper is tailwind, but it's really slow. Diggers be, um. This team is kind of like mid low speed without good speed control, besides like Electro Web Coco. Mm -hmm. What do the um, typings look like? <laughs> a rain like team that's weak to water, that's unfortunate. Well, yeah. Ori Koryo doesn't count, never mind. So it's not weak to water. True. Um, trying to look at what else. Shedinja's cool. I like Shedinja. But overall, oh, Buzzwool. Okay, this is D tier, it has Buzzwool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ori Koryo gets Hurricane. That's some rain synergy. Ooh. And Lego is good. I've never really liked it in draft because you kind of know what it's going to do every time. Mm -hmm. Except except when Steve runs Brutal Swing with Weakness Policy, Trevenant. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of wild. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. I don't really like this team. This, I think this might be C tier. Really? In my opinion. I'm going to put it in B because I don't want us to have a C tier of only one team. I just feel like the difference is big enough because like it has some things but nothing truly amazing oh wait i think i know why i did pelipper swampert why earthquake yeah that's pretty good oh that's that's a good point yeah 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 that's not but bad. even with that I, I like i don't think it's a bad team by any means i think and also, if I ever rate your team low, please prove me wrong. I would always like to see teams I rate low do really well. Mm -hmm. it, it, it makes me happy mm -hmm. to see right. plays, things that I haven't seen. We, we like it when Braff's wrong. <laughs> yeah, everybody likes it when I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, I agree with you, though, Braff. See, yeah. I think there's some slightly below optimal picks here. Like that could change. Yeah. You could change things around. Like I think Weavile's worse than Sneasel in draft. Nyligo can is its job is better done by something else. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Also, also, I don't like Diggers B. I don't well, know. I, I kind of like Diggers B, but not not now. I'm questionable like, about not Diggers really B. On this team. Definitely. Doesn't, it doesn't have good support for Diggers B, in my opinion. Yeah, a, a better Tailwind setter would be nice. Yeah. I think Ghost or Corio is a pretty mm -hmm. decent Tailwind setter, but. Again, there are better. And there are some better options that are still left on the board, right? Like, uh, Cottony didn't get picked. Swip, so watch out, Weavile stuff. for Cottony. Then you'll be Does good Cotney to go. Does Cottony get Tailwind because of yeah. that decks? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. that makes sense. That, that's good then. 
I was actually considering grabbing it. Ooh, now we yeah. have Poppin. Ooh, Poppin's up next. I know this guy. Come on. Hey, it's a cool team. <laughs> it has Diancy, but not Mega Diancy, so it's bad. No, it's um, good because it doesn't have Mega Diancy. Uh, has it ha has um fur it, so it's S tier. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> yeah, your team is really cool. It's fun and it takes advantage of the Nat decks a lot, and I think that's cool. I tried to pick as many mons that I could what not does... use in Sword and Shield. Yeah, Illumise. Illum oh, oh it what doesn't Illumise do? My has, friend, uh, look at my wait, screen. Let me look at. Let me look at it. Um. Oh, your uh, screen. Me... Yeah, give me a second. Yeah, I'm seeing. All right. So we have a. Hey, wait, sh Am I? Sh I'm still sharing, uh, right? Yeah, we got light screen. Yeah. We got prankster healing and moonlight. Aromatherapy, and defog, uh, encore, light screen, uh, tailwind, wind, thunder, thunder wave. wave. Even uh, captivate charm. Sh ooh, charm. Confide. Fake, fake tears. tears. Yeah, okay, this is good. This is Illumise and Ferret are insane D tiers. Have I convinced like, you on Ferret? Yeah, so those are. No, I, I was always a fan of. Oh, Ferret. you were good, 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 good. Yeah, it, it has Frisk and follow me, and also it walks. <laughs> so I like Ferret. It. Um, Marowak, I think, is also a huge value in C tier. Your team is very value. I like value. Uh, Megaladias is great. I That's picked this like, Scavalier because I'm tired of getting shit on by it from you, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Megaladias is bulky, has a great move pool, it's fast, strong, has good, it's good support. I, I like that. Superior. That's dope. Snowballs. Oh. War Turtle is just slightly worse Blastoise. Um, uh, the one thing about Superior, though, that I don't really like is like Sure, it does snowball, but it's only got 75 attacking stats, so that's that's pretty yeah, darn low but, for the first turn or two. That's just but, the first if you turn. Keep though. it around. Yeah, if you, if you keep it around. Also, it's if you good. pair it with like Illumise with fake tears or fur it for follow me to redirect attacks, that's good. Mm, Kangaskhan has scrappy fake out. Kangaskhan's the one mod on my team that I was the least sure about. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, Poppin. I love your team with everything except synergy. I don't see a lot of synergy here. Yeah. I don't have anything but, uh, that's yeah, like I, I, the, easy base synergy. You, but, like, but like basically every mod I love on its own. That means Probably it has Grigus to be good. is a really good Kirkram setter. You know, uh, Sticky and I, we were talking about your team actually for a minute earlier today. And uh, synergy was uh, the big, big thing we yeah. thought you were missing. Mm -hmm. I love Volcanian. I mean, like, it's, like it, it's really good. I think you got like sold like Trick Room Core though, with like Cofagrigus, like Marowak, and Excadrill though. Well, not Excadrill, um, the Scavalier. I think it's... that's super good though. Also, Diamond Storm Body Press, like it hits both. So, fifty percent chance to boost, def to sharply boost defense. Um, I really wanted to use Diancy and VGC. I like Diancy. Uh, and it and then there's also Urshifu. Urshifu is, oh, yeah. <laughs> Urshifu is maybe the best Pokemon in a non max format as well, besides Rillaboom, maybe even with Rillaboom. It through Protect and it always crits, and it's decently fast. And I, I really like this team. I think it's good. Although it's a l not quite super f Oh, wait, no, it's Prankster Tail, and never mind. I love this team. I think, but again, because of the, the no synergy, I think I just put it at the top of A tier, maybe at the bottom of S tier. What do you think, Casey? I'm not gonna rank my own team. Ew. Uh, honestly, like, <coughs> let me pop actually, it. I don't like your team, bro. <laughs> <gasps> I don't. How dare you? Actually, I'm, you know what? I, I, I'm changing it because no synergy. I'm putting it slightly lower. It's a uh, uh, second in A tier and one ahead of Casey's team. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm I'm not a big fan of it. Um, what would you do I to improve it? I think the lack of synergy is a much uh, bigger issue than Braff is uh, letting on, and that's a good question because I'm I've been having a really hard time uh, thinking over the last couple of days. I have some real uh, brain fog, so I don't know how to prove it. I just know I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with so, synergy is if you don't have it, it's kind of the hardest thing to get back. Mm-hmm. 
because you have to like reorganize things yeah but but just considering how good each thing is on its own i think that's worth it although mm, actually i'm I'm sorry actually actually, that good to be be oh yeah it's good fake out and follow me and and it's bulky with evia light it's a water type which is good defensively it has like uh-huh. it has the same things Blastoise does with a yawn and icy wind. Flip turn. Okay, I guess it's not it's good. Bad. Is he a water spout too? I don't know how much damage that does after. He does time. have it, but I don't know why. I don't, know. I don't see myself HP. ever using that. Yeah. It, it's actually like... popping. I think Casey is making a good point about the synergy. I'm putting you at. I, I keep changing it, but I can't decide if it's bottom of A tier or top of B tier now. I think bottom of A tier because I still really like it. All right. But indeed, Zamb exists. That's true. I'm putting you so, in B. Sorry, partner. That. That's okay. All right. Who, um, who do we got? Uh, who do we got left? We're almost done. Oh, we got. Uh, oh, we got Edge. It, this is S tier. It has Agron. <laughs> I felt so bad when he picked Agron. Oh, he's got the Oxus. That's that's exciting. Yeah. No, I I I'm putting this. As, wait, I gotta make a new tier. I like Keldeo um, too. I don't think Keldeo is like super great. Like, I think Keldeo is really kind of good. Kind of useless ability since it's a. You think it's good? I think Keldeo's awesome. I, mean, I don't think it needs maybe. this ability. Keldeo's really cool. Shoot. I mean, I really like Keldeo, but I don't know how good it is. I think with Specs... Okay. But uh, I, guess, it's, I guess we'll see. I think with Specs, it's an absolute cannon. You can't just stop it with a special wall because of its uh, secret sword. Um, <clears throat> you've got the rain to boost its hydro pumps even yeah. higher than they are already. He's got redirection to help it out. Licky Licky, I guess, could turn off the weather if he needs to. <laughs> I think this is a great team. I think this is an S tier team. Right, for sure. And, I and, Vol- decide. and Volbeat's essentially slightly less good Ilamiza. No, Volbeat's better. You think um, so? Actually, I don't remember. I looked at both of them. One of them is better. <laughs> but I don't know if I can rate this team because I've already done prep for it. Mm. <laughs> so I'm not sure how much I want to give away about stuff I've noticed. So I'll let you two yeah. keep that uh, up. Message it in the chat. Well, one I'm thing curious. I'm looking at right now is the the uh defensiveness it's got like a lot of weaknesses to like flying fairy i don't think fairy is like a terrible one to have in draft but like flying is still can be kind of rough i think at least it can be but mega agron also covers both of those spectacularly oh does it oh yeah you're right my bad i really like the deoxys pick i think it's super super interesting i mean it's uh Definitely, depending on the form you have, it can definitely have issues with its longevity. But I think speed form is really, really nice. Super fast, second fastest mm-hmm. thing besides Regieleki. It has uh, icy wind, so it's probably even better than Regieleki Electro Web because um, you still outspeed everything. It's bulkier than Regieleki. Icy wind doesn't have any immunities, so it always hits everything, and it gets a bunch of insane moves uh, on top of that. It also gets Trick Room too. Mm-hmm. Actually, I really, really like this team because first of all, Mega Agron. Mm-hmm. Second of all, Polytoad in Rain Mode, which I've grown to love. This is a team close to your heart, Breath. This is very close to my heart, and I feel <laughs> so bad. Well, actually, I'm glad that I have to get it over with week one, so I don't have to worry about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think this is a really good Rain team. Even Torn- yeah. even uh, Tornado Therian yeah, goes great so- in Rain. Tang Growth gets bolstered yeah. by, uh, where is it, Fire. I think this is pretty good. If I was actually ranking it, I think I'd put it... Um, High A, maybe low S, but instead I'm putting it in Agron tier. <laughs> I'm putting it in low S. I think it's great. Really, I'm I'm putting it in a an A. Personally, Casey, you're a cynic. Is important partners. You're, Casey's a I'm hater. Sorry. Yeah, I am a hater. And you know what you do to the haters? <laughs> you dab on the haters. That's true. <laughs> Shut I'm up. I'm sorry. Bro. <laughs> it's okay. What is that? Is it 2016? <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh okay, we now we have Stunfisk. This Kumamoto. I, I I did a very small amount of prep for this because I thought it was my week one match, and then we fixed the schedule. <laughs> yeah. What do we got? We've got Cartana. It's amazing. Gets Tailwind now, so it's even more amazing. Uh, Lando T. Also amazing. Rotom Heat covers both of those. Solid choice. Blastoise is great. Um, Machamp. Honestly. I might put this in S tier just because he got both Stunfisk. <laughs> I 
I, I want to see him bring both of them to a game. Did he keep them both up? He's keeping oh both my of goodness, them. He totally did. <laughs> it looks like this format Good actually for lets you bring both forms of regional, so he'll, he could bring them both to one game. Wait, Florges has that high special That's defense? Awesome. Yeah, Florges is stupid bulky. I mean, physical is bad, oh, but. Shit. Yeah, it's like, it's ho oh, right there. Also, who needs a Ranguru when you can do Florida symbiosis shenanigans? Florida just doesn't get any good moves. I already checked. <laughs> After Sticky picked uh, a Ranguru, I started panicking. <laughs> ah, let's see here. Bless you. Thank you. Uh, lots of after you tailwind Welcome. trick room slope uh mega slow bro is pretty sweet in tail room i think they're not tail mega, room, mega trick room mega, mega slow bro is cool yeah i like him a lot you can set your own trick room first turn and then mega evolve to make sure you get the uh, oblivious to block the taunt and then Ooh. you can boost up forever mm -hmm. with yeah. uh shell armor and uh, calm mind and unless they have toxic here he's not going down mm. which i mean if you can force your yeah. opponent to bring toxic against you in vgc you're doing something right Yes. It's true. Um, he got Togepi, which is value. Togepi is Togepi's public great. enemy number one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honestly, I don't understand how something with that bad of bulk has, can be so bulky. <laughs> yeah, 35, 65, yeah, that's 65. True. That's awful. I never looked at it that like when I see that, it makes me feel better about drafting War Total, who's like d like almost like what yeah. plus 15 in each of those numbers, almost like, double. Like I did some calcs. And um, my Magmar with um, Eviolite, um, I don't remember if it was 252 HP or not, but it's a, like around the same bulk as 252 HP Assault Vest Rillaboom. Jeez Louise. And like, and that's without defensive investment, just HP. Mm -hmm. I like the double follow me. Uh, no taunt, which is kind of unfortunate. You can't even bring the mix up on that. Yeah, Blastoise is super value. Yeah, I that whole line Even is incredible. Here. Like, yeah. I mean, like, just those top three is really good. Cortana, 181 attack. Yeah. And Landorus. I think that... Uh, I think Car Lando, Lando Blastoise is good. Issue, though. I think Rotom Heat is good. Mm -hmm. I think that Crossel can do things, but it relies too much on setup. Um, I think you can get the setup, though, with your uh, two follow meters. True. I think Machamp is bad. I wish... So the strategy <laughs> me and Casey and Sticky were going to do, we are going to mm -hmm. all draft Machamp, Machoke, and uh, Machop because they yeah. have no gut, uh, They have no guard Fissure, which is legal now. <laughs> it, this, it, it doesn't validate, but it is legal. You can transfer them to Sword and Shield and give them the fucking right ability with the secret ability patch, but it doesn't validate for some reason. And then it also said, oh, uh, Oko moves are banned in this format, so we all fucking had to change um, our plans. Scyther is very high value. I feel like half of this team is really good, and then the other half just sucks. Well, I think... But actually, slightly more than I half. think the suckage is just this right here. <laughs> I, I, I think both Stunfisk are bad. Gosh, you're gonna make mad I think that. And I think... Mach well, I love them. Well, actually, no. I was actually... I was gonna take normal Stunfisk, so... What um, were you gonna do with normal Stunfisk? Uh, uh, help with my type chart. Resistances. Yeah. I I, I, um, I really like the Galarian Stunfisk. Like when I played the game, I used it, but its ability is so shit. Like Ground Seals are pretty good typing, but if they set up terrain, you instantly have no more stab moves. All of your synergies go out the window, and this team doesn't have a way to control the terrain itself. So, I think in Series Five, I made a team with Choice Specs, Terrain Pulse, Galarian Stunfisk to take advantage of mimicry. To take advantage of that nice, one twenty nine special attack. Yeah, that's funny. It was very bad. But I think this team is kind of cool, but nothing too special. Mm -hmm. Maybe high B. I think the redirectors work Honestly, well with I, some of the setup threads here. I think that it's maybe you know, after a week or two, they're going to realize that like not having taunt can be like pretty pretty big issue. Like I, I didn't have taunt for like the first like half of my season, like last season, you know, and like it was it was pretty rough. Like I had one taunt user but it was Cinderace and I'm not gonna use taunt on that. You know? Like wait, Poppin, I what's think... the free agent transaction limit? Uh I think it's four. Three. Oh, it's, not it's for four? not for the oh, not for the uh three because that's over. Yeah, I think it's four. Oh well I've been telling people it's three, so <laughs> sorry people. Well then they'll be happily surprised. Perfect. 
there's definitely better D tiers left than both Stunfisk, and I know he picked it for the mascot pick, which I can respect, but respect that, yeah. If he uh, if he's disappointed with them, there's much more fun to be had in D tier. Mono is very true. Um, time zone. I think he's Australia, right? Wait, uh, he's 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 no, he's wait, from the Philippines. Wait, poppin', poppin'. Yeah. Are you playing Zelda music? Um, I have uh this video here. I, I heard think it's music. Zelda right I'm like now. I recognize that, and then just now, like I, I was hearing music, I recognize, and I thought it was my parents. I'm like, but like I don't think that someone may be playing. Yeah, this sounds like. <laughs> yeah, I, think I know I just that's switched. Zelda music. Yeah. I didn't know you guys could hear the music too. That's awesome. All right, um, final team. What's your? And you said this guy is in the Philippines, Casey. Oh yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah. All right. He is indeed. So he's got Mian Chao, awesome. Other Urshifu, awesome. Wait, I gotta, I gotta put the Sun Fist down. Um, um, uh, I'm just gonna put it. I'm gonna put it highest B tier. What did you guys say? I put him in B tier behind uh, Nimbasa Electros. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna put it. There too. Actually, that makes sense. Why not? And we're looking at Mono. Uh, Ooh, Reggie, Reggie, Reggie. I know. I love it. I like this team. I like Mega Obama Snow. I like Arc Desolt. I love me my Reggies. Araquanid is awesome. Rotomo is great. Double <laughs> is in C tier for some reason. Um, but yeah, I like this team. Oh, geez, that's a lot of weaknesses. No dragon resists, no fairy resists. There's not meant well. It's it's very good against this select few types. Don't bring your electric and water types against this team. Mm -hmm. no, oh, almost no speed control. Only ally switch. Oh, oh, oh. Mono's very high on double. It's gotten guard body press. It's, it's, <laughs> Fl Fl Fluffy doesn't double body press. Right? No, it doesn't. <laughs> I okay, thought so it did it not, first. It's not, so it's not good. No, it is not I'm good. Sorry. Repeat. Ooh, Gotharita's in D tier. What? Yeah, I wanted that. I wanted to pick that up. Why was that in D tier? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Mega Bombasnow is dope. Mega Bombasnow is dope, but it, when your only trick room setter is Gotharita, who's taunt bait, then you're kind of. Oh wait, the SOL. only trick. Yeah. This uh, team would be so much better if it had more speed control. Because I love yeah. the individual breakers on this. Wait, league. that's literally the only speed control move it has. Mm-hmm. The whole hey, team I mean, has. like, Sticky just dropped uh, Fletchinder earlier today. Mm -hmm. Pick that up, yeah. I think they'd uh, definitely benefit um, from that got, a lot. Got, and it's a D tier anyways. Mianxia or Urshifu is nasty. Mm -hmm. um, Raconid is really good. Yeah. I'm not very high on Thunderous, to be honest, because without Flying Stab, I don't know. But I, th I think it's still, it, it can still be good. Uh... Reggie Rock is good, but doesn't really have a good weakness policy proccer or Turkum setter again. Let's see. Um, does anything on this team even get bulldoze? Does, I don't uh, think it does. Mian Shao get like a bullet punch or something like that? Or well, not bullet punch. Or, I don't know. Um, mock True. punch or something like that? I think so. Uh, obviously, that's not quite as optimal, but yeah. you know. Has, well, it has Arc Results good to pair with the Baba Snow. Ambipom. As technician stab fake out, which actually does a ton of damage. My friend, who is a casual player, made a team for national decks. Anything jo goes. That's all monkeys. <laughs> he plays with it during <laughs> during class. And life orb and the palms te technician fake out can do like fifty percent, and then we'll switch out and then do it oh, again. Damn. I think this team would be a lot it's better. Good. So I was looking at the little thing. Archeops would be awesome on this team for Tailwind, uh, and it also gets Bulldoze for Regirock, um, and then you could swap out Thunderous. Wait. Yeah, they, they, they have speed. They have Reggie Drago, but they don't have speed control. Or redirection. Yeah. So this, I'm gonna be honest. I think this team, if like, honestly, I think get rid of Thunderous and Regirock, and then do something with that. I think, you, oh, okay. Here's my suggestions. You wait, drop. wait, wait. Get rid of Thunderous and Reggie Rock and like, uh, Rotom O or something, and then use it to get Thunderous Incarnate. 
and something else because that's prankster thunder wave and scary face that's good i think you could also oh fuck what did i just say you could drop um where was it dub wool and thunderous therian to pick up archaeops and volcarona who give you the redirection and speed control that you need for the for a team like this if you want to minimize because there's what is it the only other redirection is ally switch and you can only really pull that off like once in a game mm -hmm. and i think even in this Force format brain is just huge i think uh volcarona gets tailwind in this too yeah pick up volcarona <laughs> problem solved It would not help with the rock weakness, though. So, something to consider. Yeah, definitely not. And maybe figure out another trick room setter besides Gotharita, because Gotharita is either getting taunted or dying in one hit, depending on the item you give it. Yeah. True. I think uh, this team had potential, but not quite going to do too much, but also has Urshifu. But I think this is low B tier. Mm -hmm. I would agree. Maybe like the bottom, yeah, of, maybe the bottom of B tier. Yeah. Oh wait, Dawn Wings are the only one in C tier. I'm gonna put them in the bottom of bottom bottom of B tier. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guys. All right, that's a tier list. Oh shit, my cat is stuck to my headphones. Oh my god. Okay. Do you guys want to show me your screen and see what your final list look like? Yeah. Here. Um, oh shoot. Y'all are gonna be mad at mine. Uh, how do I share my screen? Uh, I don't know. There you go. Uh, yeah, I'm sharing it. Oh, we can all share at the same time. That's cool. Yeah. And there's Casey. You can look at all of my draft league like prep tabs and then the tab that I use for refing soccer. BBL chess. Uh-oh. Yeah, here's my ranking. All right. I, I, I just put mine where they put mine. I did not rank myself. I just put They, they just put it. <laughs> and that's here ahead of Tay and behind Sticky. So I like your rankings, mind. Casey. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, let me see Casey's. <laughs> uh, I love it. I yeah, I have I the can, I have can, the can. comeback story. I will prove all the haters wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. I uh, I took inspiration from uh, Sticky in this tier list that I made. Oh, we I gotta so, watch uh, Sticky's video Sticky. now. Oh yeah. See what he thinks. Yeah. Well, post this video as soon as you can pop in. Yeah. All right. Good talk, gentlemen. I uh, for those of you who, who we have ranked low, prove us wrong, and those who we have ranked high, prove us right. So that mm -hmm. is it, and we will. Actually, uh, those who have ranked high, prove us wrong too. So then, it's more <laughs> of an underdog story, which is pretty dope. <laughs> Except me, you, you guys ranked me high, so I should. I want to do well. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Talk to you guys later.